Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to be going over the auto save feature in Premiere Pro. Very important, very cool. If you go up to Premiere Pro here, then this is going to be found uh, under Preferences. So for Windows, you go to the Edit pull down and then click on Preferences. But on the Mac, you go up to the Premiere Pro uh, tab right here and go to Preferences. So those are located in two different locations if you're working on a PC or Mac. I'm going to go down to Auto Save and it brings up a more Preferences panel. We've got this Auto Save feature here. So this helps if you, it, it's a good idea as you're working, as you're doing editing every now every now and then to hit uh, Command S or Control S and save your project and, uh, and update your project with the latest saves. Um, and sometimes if the machine crashes or something happens, power goes out, uh, you can lose a lot of progress. If you've been editing for a while and you don't have these set up properly, you can use, lose a lot of pro progress and even lose a project file if a hard drive crashes. So a couple things here is, uh, we're gonna have this check mark, automatically saves projects every 15 minutes. See, 15 minutes is a long time of editing for me. Sometimes if I get in, in the mode and I've lost 15 minutes of progress, if it was really creative progress, I get, I, I'll get really angry that I lost that much progress. So I usually set this to about three minutes, so I will only lose about three minutes of progress. I kind of don't like the default of 15. Maximum versions, let's say you change something in a project unintentionally where you deleted a file or uh, deleted a clip in your timeline, did a trim on something unintentionally without noticing, uh, and then later on you're playing through the project and notice that there's a glitch in the project and you want to uh, bring back an earlier version of that project to see where that mistake happened. And then you can copy and paste it from your, which, which I'll show you here, from a previous project to uh, your new, to your updated project. But I like to have a lot of versions here. I'll usually go to like 100 versions here, because uh, these are very small files, and it'll keep it'll keep backing them up. And once it gets to 100 auto saved files, it's, and it's auto saving the new ones, it'll delete the ones that are at the bottom of the list that are 100 project files down. So that should be plenty to keep me safe there. And another little thing that I really like is saving backup project to Creative Cloud. It's all, uh, every time it update, it'll auto saves to your computer, it will also save a project version to the Creative Cloud. Which is great because, let's show you another thing here, if I hit OK, we're going to go up to, I'm going to go up to File, go to Project Settings, and in Project Settings we have Scratch Disks. Scratch Disk has a little item down here that is uh, Project Autosave right here. Under Scratch Disk, you have this little item down here that is Project Autosave. Autosave tells you where it's going to save those project files. And right now, the default is always going to be same as project. One thing to keep in mind, though, is if, you, if your hard drive crashes and you don't have a backup of that, you're going to lose your project file as well as your media, and you're going to be screwed, basically. So what I really recommend doing is keeping your media in at least two or three different locations. I, I usually tell everybody that if you don't have three copies of your media, it doesn't exist. So it's a good idea to have it in your hard drive location, maybe back it up on your computer or, or buy external hard drives to back it up. And it's also good to have them in, in different geographic locations as well, because if somebody breaks into your house and steals your stuff or your house burns down, uh, God forbid, then you will at least have saved your project in a different geographic location, like at your office or another location uh, at a friend's house or something like that. You're going to have at least, you'll have your project backed up your media in different locations. But right now, like I said, if I just have this on one single drive and that hard drive crashes, my me not only is my media gone, but my project file that has all my editing on it is going to be gone as well. So if I have my media in a different location, but I don't have the project file, that's not going to do me any good. I used to change this location and have it on a different location uh, rather than on, on in the same location as my media and where my original project file is. But I don't do that anymore because I make sure that I have it backed up to the Creative Cloud. That is an actual physical different location that is backing up the, up the project file. So I'm going to go back under my audio, uh, uh, my auto save under the preferences here, and I'm going to make sure that this is checkmarked. Save backup project to Creative Cloud. Now, if you have the Creative Cloud installed on my computer, which you do, uh, which I do, under your find, under your Finder or your Explorer, if you're on Windows, you're going to have this added to your hard drive locations. Right there, you're going to have Creative Cloud files. This is reading files that are on the cloud. That means it's not on your computer. It's on another computer on Adobe's. It's on one of the Adobe servers somewhere in out in outer space. I don't know, but they they've magically got these saved here. And I go to that. I go to Premiere Pro. There's my Premiere Pro folder. I'm on the latest version, operating off the tw uh, version 22. Click on that, and uh, Adobe Premiere. Pro auto save here, and it will have a big list of all the different project files that I've worked on that I've uh, opened up uh, uh, that, that it's had time to back up here. In Windows and in Mac, you can arrange it by, you can arrange your window to show details. In uh, Mac, it's called as list here, and with the list, you can uh, arrange this by date modified, and you can show the most recent projects here that it has saved 
Keep in mind, it does not do a whole bunch of versions. It just has one project file that it is saving. It doesn't have multiple uh, auto save files like it does. It does not have multiple, multiple versions. It just updates that project file that you saved last. So on the Creative Cloud, it will only have one version of your project file, which is most of the time fine if you've lost your, if your hard drive has died, you can go get the most recent version. But let's show you what it's doing on the actual hard drive here. If we go to the, one of the, my actual project folders here, the one that I have open right now, you'll notice it, is ha it has created an Adobe Premiere Pro auto save uh, folder here. I'm gonna open that up and here are all the different versions here. I'm gonna do date modified here and have the most recent, but here's a list of my project files. Since I opened it today, this is, this is I just barely opened this today, but in the past, I have all these different edits. It has the date and the time on it. So this is 2021, 07, 28, and then it's got the time, 16, 51, 58, it's down to the second here. Um, that is uh, military time there for four o'clock, 51 minutes and 58 seconds is when that exact project file was saved. And then you'll notice here that as I'm working, there are three minute increments in between the save period there. So I have it set to auto save every three minutes. So let's go into this project here and let's say that I unintentionally, let me select this clip right here. It's selected right now and let's say that I'm working on another part of my timeline over here. So I have that clip selected and I don't realize that I have it selected and my thumb hits delete. Seemingly I didn't see anything change there because I'm not looking at it. Now if I zoom out and go back to it, I had that selected. Look what happens. I just deleted that whole clip and now rather than have to find it again, let's say that I finish this project. Let's say that I finish this project here and I don't realize that I've deleted it. I'm going to hit command Q and quit and save my changes. Now everything has been saved to that project file that's on my hard drive. I'm keeping this list open right now, my auto save folder. I'll show you why. But let's open up Premiere Pro. Let's say I come back two days later and start editing again, and I click on this here and open up my most recent project that I was working on. And then I start editing and I go back to the beginning and I go, oh crap, where'd this clip go? That clip is gone, there's nothing there. And then uh, and now I have saved this and closed it, so it's saved those changes and now I can't uh, undo this. We will have a future episode on, on undo and redo, but I, I, I cannot undo and bring, and bring this back. So what I can do is I can go back to my auto save files here I'm gonna go back and find some of these earlier versions. I'm gonna go back to where I think I might have done that. I'm gonna go back in time and find where I think I did that. And if you don't find it, you can just, you can keep opening up this one, then this one, then this one. So watch this, let's open up this one here. And let's see where this is on my timeline. This is my timeline of the project that I have open and then this one timeline belongs to my autosave. So up here I've got the project right there and then I've got project and that was my autosave project right there. So I've got two different projects open now, one being my autosave and one being my regular one. And here are the timelines for it. That's my regular one with the one missing. And I'm at, uh, let's see what that time code is, at 27 seconds and 23 uh, frames into my timeline there. We can go to that, so we can go to that exact same uh, location right there. I can, in fact, I can select the time code hit Command C or Control C to copy, go here and Control V uh, or Command V to paste, and then hit Enter and it will jump to that uh, time code, and there's the file that I need right there. So now I can simply select this, do Command C to copy or Control C on a PC, go to this here, and I've got it in the exact location where I want that to be, and I hit Command V and there you go, my file has restored. I can go back to my autosave, right click and say Close Project, I don't need to save that, uh, the autosave project, because it's I want it kind of frozen in time where, where that was, and hit no. And now I've got that project file, I've got that thing restored, and my project is no longer destroyed. Last thing I'm going to show is if you want to know where your project file has been saved, you got the name of the project right here at the top of your screen, right there in the middle. Now if you just hover over this like that, it's going to show the location of that project file. If you open up, if you're searching for a project file and you don't know where you saved it, you can do, if you have it open, you can just go up here and hover over it and right there it shows that it is on my hard drive called Cromulent, then it's got the past midnight folder and then shows the actual project file, past midnight edit project file. And that's where it's located on my computer or on my hard drive. Cool, well that's it for this episode. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching Chin Fat.